I struck out with my magician friends. They take their secrets and devices a little too seriously. So I'm trying something completely different. Hey, Mayor, how are you, man? Uh, hey, Billy, how are you? I am a collector of gambling equipment, more of a, an accumulator than a collector, kind of like one step before being a hoarder. <laughs> I have a client, and I thought of you. Mm -hmm. When you talk to me, the first thing that popped into my head are holdouts. These are machines that card cheaters used to use, and uh, what they did is they delivered cards and stole cards into your arms secretly. And I brought some of them for you to look at. Come on, let's check this out, Paul. It sits on your wrist, and it shoots the card into your hand. Let's say if you're playing gin, it'll steal a card out or add one in in poker or different games. Oh, I like these. So this one is called a gravity holdout. By holding the hand down, pressing the button, the card shoots out and delivers it into your palm. That is cool. Yeah, that That's is really, really cool. And then to bring it back oh into your God. sleeve, all you do is, you know, when you look at cards in a card game, you lift your hands up yeah. and it goes right back into your sleeve. How much is something like this? It's scarce, but it probably goes for about $500 or so uh, for this one. Okay. This one is this cable that goes around your body right. and attaches to your other arm. That's so true. to get the card out, what happens is you extend one arm, it pulls on this cable. Oh, that's amazing. What else you got? Anything uh, you yeah, need? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Th th this is the best one. I wore it just to show it to oh, you. It's cool. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. That's sick. And it's called a pressure holdout. It's, it's much easier to use than all of the others. It okay. just sits right here on your forearm. You push the button, and it loads the card into your Whoa. hand. And it takes it That's away. That's great. And at the same time, it could also steal it. So oh. it's, it's probably the easiest one to use. Let's see it. And it's Let's also see it. the let best me... made. L let me take off yeah, my sure. jacket so you can take a really good look. First, on the top, he has this roundish thing. That's for the sleeve. Yeah, it keeps the sleeve off the card. So it's not likely to tangle on the way out. So this gives you a track for it to come in and out. Is this why people say I got nothing up my sleeve? It's probably one of the places <laughs> where uh, that phrase came about. A really good machine user. Yes. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to tell, right? No, no, no. Did because that good? because uh, it's not just good, they build it into their personality. So it becomes a natural gesture for them to constantly hit their arm. Like they got a tick or something. Yeah, or, or the way they hold their cards, you know, they, you know, they hold them like this. Uh, oh. so, so it's all choreography. So much effort into yeah. cheating. <laughs> this was made by uh, Bill Gussius, the top builder for card cheaters. They're not mass produced. He made them one at a time. Okay. Uh, he grew up in Chicago during the Al Capone years. So a lot of his customers were card cheaters that were working in the card rooms all over Chicago. Oh, man, that's a dangerous business. Because yeah. if you're cheating Al Capone's boys yeah. in Chicago, yeah. you're, you're well, done. Well, actually, uh, it, it works in reverse. You don't cheat Al Capone. Al Capone hires you to cheat the players that are playing at his card game oh. rooms. The cheating devices that were used by card cheaters in the early part of the 1900s are fascinating pieces that if a magician could use them today, they could create miracles. The kid might really like this. So how much are these things? Probably goes for about a $1,000 range. Good. Let me get some money. Yeah. So I think it was a really good deal for me, and whoever buys it, I think it's a great investment because that thing is just going to keep going up in price. Do people actually use this still? Uh, yeah. Really? Uh, oh, yeah. man. Al Capone? Yeah. Oh, that's amazing.